is one thing that I've stated over and over again is that Harry and Meghan are getting better on daily basis. That just Meghan literally always knows what she's doing. As much as they are not doing things publicly simply because they don't want to show. They don't want this so-called thing at the era. They don't have reasons to do so. And um, I love their progress. I love what they are doing in secret because I believe that the, the things awaiting ahead are going to be hitting so differently on some haters and derangers who are not ready to come to acceptance that they can never be on the same level with the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex. Not forgetting that Duchess Meghan is not their own. Meghan Markle makes return to the spotlight in a latest career move. The Duchess of Sussex is featuring in a women in a media panel. She is an inspirational, as I've always stated. She is an amazing, amazing being. That's why lots of people are always like, we need such a person in our circle. Because she has shown what friends are for. She has shown her the importance of, or she has always advocated for the importance of having gender equality, always fighting for the girl child, always wanting best for the women in the society. She is truly an icon. And that's why I myself refer to her as the global queen. She is a queen in her own kingdom. That's why she needs no one approval to make moves. She needs no one approval to kind of just go out there and continue thriving she needs no one before she came a lateral royal megan markle was a tv royalty megan a 42 year old made a name for herself in a legal drama such as rachel zing and now the duchess of sussex is making a somewhat surprising return to the show Bees. Circuit by featuring as a panelist for a discussion about women in the media. They've truly really just spotted out the right person for this. Among the rest, she is truly really one among the best. From my own perspective, Megan will feature on a star-tarded panel at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, to celebrate International Women's Day, which is coming soon. It's this particular month. And yes, we'll be able to see the Duchess of Sussex out again. Personally, can't wait. Because I know a lot of people would be so much eager and ready wanting to give her an ear for what she has to say. Because at the end of the day, she's always there to motivate, always there to encourage, always there to inspire. And just assist people in kind of knowing which path to take. I'm always loving her on daily basis. The panel is titled Breaking Barriers, which Duchess Megan truly did. Shaping Narratives how women lead and are off the screens with Megan being joined by author Katy and actor Brooke Shields. They truly got the best people for this. Speaking about breaking barriers, speaking about shaping narratives, Duchess Megan truly is one among us, the ones who need to be recognized for that. She has done an impressive, impressive work all throughout. Despite the fact of the negative narrative, despite the fact of the smear campaign about her that has been brought about to the public domain over the years, she never stopped being herself. She never stopped doing what is right. The panelists have been described by event organizers as visionary female leaders at the forefront of news, media, entertainment, and philanthropy who are breaking barriers, challenging stereotypes, and working towards a healthier society on and off our screens. Like, I'm loving this whole uh, description of them. Because to be honest, Duchess Megan is one among us the best who has been able to accomplish all this. And I bet she's still working so much on better things. No matter whatever they say literally doesn't affect her being. 
the, literally just doesn't affect the person she is. It doesn't. And they don't see that. They don't get that. They don't know why. They just need to get things straight. The Duchess Megan was a whole mad millionaire by herself even before getting married to that particular institution and that was to the Duke of Sussex. She never got married wanting to get a so-called thing title or name. She was there because of true love. That's why she never hesitated leaving, knowing very well that the husband will accompany her. Because there was no need of you being in a big institution, having titles, having names, but you're not at peace with yourself. That point whereby Duchess Megan was suicidal, they need to take notes of that. And they lost the most important precious things that they could ever be proud of. Now look at what they have to deal with. Look at what's happening to Kat. And imagine at them if they would have had Duchess Megan as part of them. Just imagine that because I'm always like, they missed out a lot. Meanwhile, Megan is touted as a feminist and champion of women's rights and gender equality. New York Times best-selling author and co-founder of Archwell Foundation and Archwell Production. The Duchess of Sussex previously fronted Spotify's Archie podcast, which saw her interview prominent women about female stereotypes. The appearance comes after the Sussexers announced they were having a major rebrand. The pair have launched a brand new website, which will share more personal updates for followers. In quotes, the office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex is shaping the future through business and philanthropy and about page reads. Elsewhere on the site, Meghan's biography reads, Meghan is a major advocate for mental health, family care and gender equality. The Duchess hopes to be a cultural catalyst. For positive change reflecting her core belief that representation matters and that communities can be enhanced through learning healing and inspirational support it's certainly been a busy few weeks for the duchess who also announced she signed a new podcast deal with the lemonada media to record a new podcast series after her spotify deal ended personally can't wait to see what will be taking place during the international women's day can't wait to see the duchess of sarsex out and about once again can't just wait to see what's going to be happening it's of course going to be massive it's of course going to be a success because there's nothing that harry and megan stay steep or just have their hands laid on and it goes out without turning out to be a success. Just reading this kind of just makes you want to continue just reading and just hearing more about the Duchess of Sussex. That's just a bit about her and what people literally need to be speaking about her. But the UK press chose to hurt, harass, abuse her, not knowing the precious thing that they lost. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just comment down below. And that was our today's video and hoping to see you guys in the next video.